We are going to talk about polar coordinate of a vector. We found the polar coordinate using the Cartesian coordinate. It's very simple. First, you need to find the magnitude of the vector, vector A. This one, we call it resultant vector R. And then you find the direction of your vector A. So the polar coordinate A, it will have R, which is the resultant vector we are looking for. And the direction of this vector from X positive. This is our x positive, and this is the direction of your vector A from x positive. To find the magnitude R, we use Pythagorean theorem. In this case, we have the, uh, the resultant vector R squared. It will be 3 squared plus 2 squared. R it will be the square root of 3 squared plus 2 squared. So it will be square root of 9 plus 4. It will be the square root of 13. This 3.6. Now we found the magnitude of the vector. We need the direction. To find the direction, you need to locate your vector in the reference. How you know um, the reference? Just from the coordinate uh, of your vector, it tells you if you are in the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, or fourth quadrant. So if we are located on the first quadrant, the x and y component are positive. If we are located in the second quadrant, x is negative and y is positive. If we are in the third quadrant, x and y will be negative. And the fourth quadrant, x will be positive and y negative. This is how we know the position of our vector just from the sign of the coordinate. Now, the magnitude, which is r, we use Pythagorean theorem to find it. To find the direction of the vector, if you are located in the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant, to find the direction, just use the arc tangent of y over x of your vector. So in this case, uh, I'm looking for vector the direction of vector A. It will be just arc tangent of YA over XA. The Y of my vector A is 2 and X is 3. So your theta A will be just the arc tangent of 2 over 3. If we are on this quadrant or this quadrant, to find the direction, you just use the arc tangent of y comp over x component vector. So in this case, the arc tangent of 2 over 3, I found 33.69, or we can just put 33.7 degrees. So this is how we put the coordinate of vector. We need the magnitude and the direction to the x positive. So uh, we said if we are in the first and the fourth quadrant, we just use the arc tangent of y component over x component of your vector. Now, if we are in the in that side, is on the, th the second or the third quadrant. All you need to do for the third. And the second quadrant, now we know they are third and second. All you need to do is just add 180 degrees to your arc tangent of your y component over x component of the vector. So if you are here or here, remember that. If you are in the third quadrant, third quadrant or the second quadrant, use this to find the direction. Let me put it here. So if we are in these two quadrants, you uh, this one and this one, your theta b will be 180 degrees plus the arc tangent, arc tangent of your y component over x component. Okay, so here or here, let me put it here also. Theta b 
180 degrees plus arc tangent of your y over x. So let do b. Let uh, practice on vector b. We said we have the first. We need the magnitude and we need the direction. To find the polar coordinate, we need the magnitude and direction. Let me go here. We said B, we put it back here. B will be negative 4 and 1. So the magnitude of B, we call it RB. RB, or just R, will be the square root of negative 4 squared plus one squared so it will be the square root of 16 plus one will be the square root of 17 or 17 4.12 4.12 now we need the direction how we know let's say if i don't have the reference if i don't put the vector i just look for the component I am on x negative and y positive means I am in the second quadrant. So automatically I use uh, the theta b, which is the direction of vector b, it will be just 180 degrees plus the arc tangent of y b over x b. And I found 165.196. Or you can just put 166 degrees okay so this is how we found the polar coordinate so how i put may be it'll be rb which is i got just put it like that r is 4.12 and theta b or can put it rb or theta b is 166 degrees this is how we do it let's do one more example so let's say I have a vector C that has uh, negative 4, negative 1. Okay, which quadrant will be located? We will be located on the third quadrant. Now, if I am in the third quadrant to find the direction of this vector C, it's automatically 180 degrees plus arc tangent of y over x. So in this case, what will be negative over negative is positive. Is 194, 194, 103 degrees. So this is theta c or just 194, 194 degrees. Now this is rx positive, y positive, x negative, and y negative. We said negative 4 will be somewhere here, negative 1 will be somewhere here. So the intersection of these two vectors, so this, the, the coordinate will be, coordinate of your vector will be here. So that makes sense. Now this is 180 degrees, this will be 194. Let's say you have this vector C that has this Cartesian coordinate for negative 3. They are Cartesian coordinate. I want it in polar coordinate. And polar coordinate should be Rd, means the magnitude of vector D, and the direction of the vector D. This is what we need. Magnitude and direction. To find the direct magnitude, we use Pythagorean theorem. We are d with square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared. 4 squared will be 16 plus 9. It will be square root of 25. It will be just 5. So r d. Now we find the magnitude. The direction. The direction, you look which quadrant. Now this is positive and this is negative. The x positive and y negative means we are in the fourth quadrant. We said, by definition, if we are in the first or fourth quadrant, the direction of your vector will be just the arc tangent of your y over x. So the arc tangent of y, which is negative 3, over 4. 
to be negative 36 or 86 degrees. What does mean? Means you are going to go clockwise. That means your x you are going to go like that to get to your vector. So your vector uh, d, you are going to go clockwise. When you see the negative sign, means you are going clockwise. If it's positive, you are going counterclockwise. When you have negative clock, when you have positive, counterclockwise. This is y axis, this is negative x, and this is negative y. So remember, if we are going clockwise, we go from x down. If we are going counterclockwise, means when the number in the angle is positive, we go up. Now also you can use this is correct also you can you can go from here to here now what that does mean that means even if you add 360 360 or zero degree is the same thing like if you add 360 is like you didn't do anything is uh, 360 degrees if you add 360 degrees is like you didn't do anything like you came back so if you add 360 degrees to this uh, number your theta d also will be 360 degrees minus 36.80 so it will be 323.13 it will be 323.13 degrees now is the same thing if you use this angle or this one Let's say in the exam they give you this angle is identical to this one. It's just we were going counterclockwise and the same thing. Because remember the direction is the angle that does your vector with x positive. You can go clockwise or counterclockwise. You find the direction uh, in the first or the fourth quadrant. You just use the arc tangent of your y over x. So uh, if the, if you want the positive angle all the time at 360 degrees the answer will be the same